Bison are large bovines in the genus Bison within the tribe Bovini. Two extant and numerous extinct species are recognized. Of the two surviving species, the American Bison, B. Bison, found only in North America, is the more numerous prior to European colonization plains. Bison are estimated to have numbered between 30 million and 60 million animals and were the widest ranging large mammal in North America. Bison were, and remain, central in the lives and traditions of many native nations and an umbrella species for many plants and animals sharing its habitat. By 1889, only 512 plains bison remained after the ravages of westward expansion, market demand, and a deliberate effort by the U.S. government to eliminate the bison in order to subdue the native people that relied so heavily upon them. In response to their tragic decline, conservationists and indigenous peoples successfully brought the plains bison back from the brink of extinction. Thanks to their efforts, by 1935 the population had risen to approximately 20,000 bison, and many were restored as wildlife to refuges and parks throughout North America. In honor of the role that this majestic species plays as an icon for the lands and people of the United States, the bison was formally designated the National Mammal in 2016. However, much work remains much work to do to see bison restored where they are embraced. In fact, the number of bison held in conservation herds is currently no greater than it was in 1935. WWF partners with native communities seeking to restore bison to their lands. Our goal is to support bison restoration efforts that foster community benefits such as increased access to bison and ecological and economic sustainability. Currently, WWF works closely with partners such as the Fort Peck Assiniboine and Sioux tribes, Fort Belt Nap Indian community, and the Sikang Ulakota Nation in support of the expressed values, needs, and aspirations of these communities. Additionally, WWF works with the U.S. National Park Service and Parks Canada on bison restoration efforts. Historically bison were the dominant grazer on the northern Great Plains landscape. This dominance shaped the landscape by affecting the pattern and structure of the grasses and vegetation that grew. Expansive areas of native grasslands allowed animals to flourish along with many species of other prairie wildlife. An overall population of just over 20,000 plains bison managed as wildlife in North America and small herd size among them contributes to the ongoing loss of genetic diversity. Therefore long-term conservation of existing diversity is at risk. Early 20th century experiments to interbreed bison and cattle with the goal of producing heartier livestock has also had an impact on population viability. At present, there are only believed to be two public bison herds that have not shown evidence of interbreeding with cattle to date, Yellowstone NP, and Elk Island National Park in Canada. Conservation groups have been working hard to establish additional herds elsewhere to safeguard these valuable genetics should a catastrophic event, for example disease outbreak, threaten these source herds. A limited constituency for public bison herds in rural regions of the plains where opportunities for restoration on intact grasslands at scale are most feasible makes a universal strategy for reintroduction challenging. In addition, there is narrow support for restoring bison as wildlife within the sporting community because broad exposure to bison as wildlife has been limited over the past century. Both affect progress in the political arena. For this reason WWF seeks opportunities with partners and communities who embrace the reintroduction or expansion of bison populations including tribes and national parks. The Plains Bison is the largest land mammal in North America with some adult bulls weighing in excess of 2,000 pounds. Tens of millions of these iconic animals once roamed across much of North America. Today, the largest remaining wild herd of approximately 4,500 individuals can be found in Yellowstone National Park. Large North American grazers including the Plains Bison traditionally roamed across millions of acres, which kept the grasslands and herds healthy and diverse. However, early settlement and current land use by present-day communities have redefined where these large animals are able to roam. WWF's Northern Great Plains program is working with national parks, native tribal communities, and its ranching partners to find common ground on returning bison to suitable intact prairie landscapes. 
Bison stand some 5 to 6.5 feet tall at the shoulder, and can tip the scales at over a ton. Despite their massive size, bison are quick on their feet. When the need arises they can run at speeds up to 40 miles an hour. They sport curved, sharp horns that may grow to be 2 feet long. These large grazers feed on plains grasses, herbs, shrubs, and twigs. They regurgitate their food and chew it as cut before final digestion. Herd behavior females, cows, and adult males, bulls, generally live in small, separate bands and come together in very large herds during the summer mating season. Males battle for mating primacy, but such contests rarely turn dangerous. Females give birth to one calf after a nine-month pregnancy. Cultural importance bison once covered the Great Plains and much of North America, and were critically important to Plains Indian societies. During the 19th century, settlers killed some 50 million bison for food, sport, and to deprive Native Americans of their most important natural asset. The once enormous herds were reduced to only a few hundred animals. Today, bison numbers have rebounded somewhat, and about 500,000 bison live on preserves and ranches where they are raised for their 